Well, uh, welcome back for another video. Um, yeah, just been listening to WEB lads again. Uh, it's been quite good into G today. Yeah, I've been uh, usually sat in Sunday. I just work uh, 40 metres into uh, uh, the local areas, into the United Kingdom. Uh, some of the rebels are on two meters. Uh, I just keyed off, so uh, let's turn that down. That one's turned down. Yeah, just another quick video today. Uh, let's go up here, uh, zoom in a little bit, see if I can get this uh, going. Um, it's going to be a, a shaky video as normal. Yeah, the um, the, the video is about uh, HF propagation. Um, there's only three things you need to know, uh, to be fair. Um, when, when people are talking about um, HF propagation, it, get, it gets quite complicated, especially uh, solar weather. Um, there's only three things as amateurs we're actually interested in. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be an in-depth thing, this. Uh, as you can see here, this the S SFI 76, that's your solar flux. Um, when uh, we get some uh, solar st uh, storms uh, f from um, uh, the sun, um, it puts the uh, solar flux up, um, the electrical uh, conductivity in, in the outer atmosphere. But also we can get noise, as you can see here, uh, this is K2. So we've got K2 of noise today. Uh, just, right, just go back a little bit here. Um, so yeah, as hams, all we're interested in is the solar flux and um, the noise flow of the band. So uh, yeah, it can get quite noisy um, when uh, when the solar winds are hitting the the atmosphere. Uh, it can create a lot of noise, especially on the lower bands, 160, 80, 140. But it does affect all the way up to 10 meters. So uh, you could have good solar flux, which means we're going to get uh, good propagation. Um, last few months, well, a couple of months ago now, um, I think it was up to about 250, which uh, I've not seen for years, to be fair. And uh, yeah, the bands were just light, uh, especially 10 meters. Um, I worked on 10 meters. Oh crikey! I must be three, three to four month, and uh, I never came off it. So uh, yeah, th there you go. So that, that's that's two of the things we need to know. Um, we need to know this the solar flux index. Um, when we was on a low, we was on like uh, 78 solar flux in the low. Now we're getting into uh, solar 25. Uh, the, the the flux is going up. So uh, it looks like it's going to be a good one. To, uh, um, this this time round uh, and K2 is the noise so K0 K1 it's not a noisy band it's just got a bit of noise on uh, if I go back down to the radio again um, you can just about hear it on John let's just go for it see a minute you can hear that noise and as you can see on the S meter brought to an S3 so, uh, yeah, it, 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 they're not terribly bad, but uh, yeah, we get some noise on uh, the actual amateur bands. And uh, the last one, um, let's go back up here again, uh, is the maximal usable frequency. I usually uh, have this on my um, uh, Geochron, but for some reason, um, the payment's not gone out. Um, so, uh, I know I've got money in the bank, but... Uh, yeah, the payment's gone out, so I'll have to try and zoom in on here. Um, and I'm doing all this looking through the camera. Uh, so, uh, yeah, forgive me, like I said, shaky video, but the same as normal. Yeah, so the maximal use of frequency. Um, uh, let's just go out again, you can see the bigger picture. Um, you get a coloured slide at the bottom. Um, at the bottom here, so it's telling you what frequencies... Um, are active and what what colours are the density density of uh, the actual uh, propagation? I'm not I'm not saying this very well, but uh, yeah, zoom back in again. So at the moment, if you're looking at uh, North America, like if I get the camera on North America, it'd be a lot better, wouldn't it? Um, 
I'll turn a look around the, the camera as well to uh, see what I'm looking at. Uh, yeah, you can see 25 megs. Um, so if you move that over, this is just given for an example, to the United Kingdom, it's saying 20, what's that there? Yeah, 23 megs. So 12 meters is and up to 10 is going to be quite good. As you can see back over here again, uh, 29 megs, 28 megs. Uh, on North America, like I said, sorry about the video. It's I'm going all over the show, aren't I? Um, yeah, I've only got a small monitor as well. Uh, so yeah, you can tell which frequencies are open. Um, like myself, I, I haven't done that much to be to, to be honest with you, but uh, I'm, I'm working on uh, 10 megs and um, uh, three megs, uh, so 80 and uh, 30 meters uh, just, just for the XCC I think I'm up to um, 80 now on 30 so I need 20 more countries and I think I'm 79 on it on uh, 80 but yeah I should pull my finger out because um, I've not actually been doing that much uh, we're still looking to Europe um, 23 to 33 so yeah 10, 10, 10 megs is, uh, sorry 28 megs is uh, open uh, the 10 meter band uh, down to the down to 12 meters um, obviously you get propagation and all the bands right let's go back down again um, go down to here my arms getting the uh, um, sorry for holding that up so yeah they're the three things you need to uh, to to um, to know basically you know you want to know the solar flux index you want to know the k index which is the noise of the band and your ma ma maximum usable free frequency um, uh, and that's it it's only for beginners this if you're if you're a guy that's been on on radio uh, um, for years you'll probably uh, know this more more in depth and uh, on that note as well uh, uh, if you want to go more in depth if I go back up here again um, if, if you actually click on um, Let's go to my page. I also link this to, to my own page as well. So, if if I uh, if I t if I turn on them on and they haven't got the geochrome point towards me, you can uh, you can look up the solar solar index. But if you click on this, it takes you straight to the website, um, which is more in depth. Let's uh, zoom out a little bit so you can see all of this. Yeah, you, you, you can get more in depth on the HF propagation and HF propagation uh, tools. Um, so CMEs, what what the solar wind predictions are, you can you can click on all sorts of stuff. Um, this is too much for me to explain, um, and I couldn't explain it as well because I'm only uh, a bricks and mortar type of guy. And uh, yeah, uh, but there are resources that you can get into. But uh, for, for all I look for, like I said, is I look at the solar in, uh, index and I look at uh, the K index and uh, the maximum usable frequency. And that's that's all I need to know. It's the bricks and mortar uh, because you're just on the band and seeing what's going on. Another good good tool to use is a, a YouTuber, um, Ham Radio Live. Uh, this guy here. Um, some of his uh, YouTube um, uh, videos have gone down. Uh, for some reason but this guy here uh, Larry um, he always helps new hams uh, basically this is what his, his channel is about um, mainly Americans but he, he, he's got a lot of uh, subscribers from the UK and he talks a lot of the M3s uh, M7s etc to try and uh, better, better the licensing but uh, yeah um, this guy does um, he usually does a week to, to a fortnight he might do an HF um, uh, propagation chart, so it goes through it, the maximum user frequency, etc, etc. What bands are you usually going to get um, um, contacts on, uh, countries, etc. Um, so yeah, th this guy's a, a, a good uh, bit of info. I watch this guy, uh, mainly for the HF propagation to be fair. He does, uh, like I said, he does um, probably about 20 minutes show and uh, it tells you what what the what's what the bands are going to be up to uh, on what days and what solar flux in this index is uh, going up or down and if you really want to get into it uh, but i watched this girl uh, dr tamitha scove um 
Now, she's a proper space weather woman, as you can tell. Uh, yeah, she's uh, got degrees and everything, and she, she goes into stuff in great detail, but mainly about um, the space weather itself uh, and mainly the sun. Um, but she does give uh, the solar flux index um, what, what, what it's going to be over the next seven days. She used to do a, a, a show about once a week, once a fortnight. So yeah, I, I just watched this one. So uh, when it comes up at the end of the show, she'll do um, the solar flux. So basically you can see over the next seven days um, what the solar flux, flux index is going to be. So uh, it gives you some sort of clue when you're... Um, um, on the bands uh, for each day so Monday for instance it could be 150 by Thursday it could be 180 to 190 whatever whatever the whatever the uh, uh, space weather is on that particular day and what's been coming in the CMEs that have been in the earth and uh, how much uh, solar flux we've got into uh, um, it's into the atmosphere that we can use as, as I'm radio guys and the, the last one, uh, like I said, I usually watch this off uh, um, my geochrome. I spin round to it. Uh, yeah, it's down at the moment for some reason. But I usually have uh, the MUF layer on there. And it's uh, a lot easier for me to, to see than this thing. Uh, and usually, um, when you're on the radio, let's close this down. When you're on the radio, um, you, don't, you don't mess. You're looking at the clusters. Uh, this is what you mean. What I'm mainly looking at. Um, I'm used to searching and pouncing, um, whatever mode it may be. If it's FTA or whatever, I might be. I'll just be on a sort of uh, a cluster to see what's going on in the bands um, and which bands uh, are the most active. Um, so yeah, um, not an in-depth thing. Just just a bit of a waffle again. And. Uh, just my take on uh, HF propagation. Like I said, it's nothing technical. It's just bricks and mortar. And uh, if it can be some help to somebody out there uh, uh, to understand what's going on, uh, like I said, it's not in a technical way. Uh, and what is good for action amateur radio? What we need to know on a day-to-day -day basis um, when we're going on the band. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, little little video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it made sense. And if you're uh, a guru in space weather, um, don't bombard me on, on, on the channel, on the comment section. Um, I agree to agree that you know far more than me. But anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Seventy for now. Bye-bye uh, uh, from uh, G1OFZ and uh, myself, GZODTX. Bye-bye for now.